Hi, I'm Alexa, and you're watching Cassette Media. Hi, I'm Alexa, and I'm here with Liz Reck. Hello. Hi, Liz. How are you today? Yeah. How are yeah. you? I'm pretty good. I hope you don't mind sitting in this dirty corner. <laughs> Pretty nice here. <laughs> okay, so um, Liz, how would you describe your music for someone who hasn't heard you before? Uh, I'd say it's kind of girly, singer songwriter, um, nice melodies with just a little bit of rage. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of rage. <laughs> what inspires the rage? Um, I don't know, ignorant people, people who are a bit stupid. Um, you haven't been playing very long, have you? No. So how, many, how long have you been playing guitar? Um, I started in, I got a guitar for my birthday in 2007, so around March, and so that's three years ago, a bit more. Three years? Yeah. Wow, I mean, you've gone so far from just three years. Did you teach yourself? Um, yeah, I had some friends at the time who were in bands and playing guitar, um, who showed me a bit of stuff, and then I just kind of kept going. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, you've had such a positive response from your music already. I mean, how do you feel about that? You, you haven't been playing that long at all. Uh, yeah, it's really good. I'm just happy that people uh, like what I do. Um, yeah. So what do you think um, inspires a lot of your lyrics? Um, uh, everything. Hey, I, um, I take everything from real life situations, from my life. Um, anything to do with friends or anything I experience really and um, that gives me the idea for songs and I go from that. What's your most personal song that you've written? <laughs> if that's not too revealing. Um, probably a song called Chuck. It's about some differences I've had with people I think so. Like yeah. what? Um, musical differences, differences in ideas. Yeah. Takes me back to pick your favourite song out of any, any artist, what would it be and why? Uh, probably a song by a band called Go Go Bordello. I don't know what song. Maybe uh, they have this song, Start Wearing Purple, but I just remember like uh, my perceptions of music changed a little bit ever since I heard that band. I've listened to um, music that I wouldn't otherwise listen to and that's changed um, yeah, a lot of what I listen to. Do you think that's changed the kind of music that you play? Has it... um, it's definitely inspired me, like given me more passion to um, work hard at it and yeah, really be more honest with what I write and play. Okay, so if you had to choose someone to duet with, anyone in the world, past or present, who would it be? <laughs> um, that would be Chris McCohen. He's um, a singer-songwriter that um, really inspires me and that I really love. Um, yeah, I'd love to play with Chris McCollin or just like have a jam. <laughs> okay, so um, you've recently been in the recording studio. Yes. Um, and that was a new experience for you. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about that. Um, yeah, that was a very um, rushed recording because uh, somebody approached me at a show I played with, um, uh, with a death in the family and just um, asked if I had some stuff or if I wanted to record. Um, and so I did. Uh, his name's David Doby, and um, he was leaving for America in within like a month. So it was very rushed. And um, but yeah, overall positive experience. And hopefully I'll be getting some of those tracks out soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Liz. No worries. Okay. Thanks for having me. You've been watching Cassette Media. That was a time when there was not much else to do. Like